this film did not need a sequel. Gladiator is the greatest Roman era film ever. Shout out to Ben Hunt. The Zell can do whatever they want because I'm watching I'm watching the Zell cook. No, this film did not need a sequel. Gladiator is the greatest Roman era film ever. Shout out to Ben Hunt. Shout out to Ben Hunt. It is the greatest Roman era film. And it is one of the greatest films out there. Now, I'm not, it's not a film I'll put in my top 10 or my top 20 because there are a lot of classics. But it is a monumental cinematic achievement. It's like, it is a masterpiece. It's a cinematic masterpiece. Um, and it is shocking that this didn't win everything because so a little pop quiz. You know that this film did not win Best Director. It's one Best Film. It didn't win Best Director. Best Director was Steven Soderbergh for Traffic, which is pretty good. Traffic in Glad. So it just shows that the Oscars are just bricks. <laughs> Oscars are just bricks. To not give Gladiator Best Director when... This is what I'm going to tell you guys this. If it's a name, okay, what is the best element of Gladiator? Like, you know, the music, the acting, this... The best element of Gladiator, oops, sorry, is the direction. Russell Crowe was outstanding, amazingly, so superb. Hans Zimmer, it might be the most iconic movie soundtrack of all time. It might be the most iconic movie soundtrack of all time, what Hans Zimmer did for Gladiator. I'm going to get to Joaquin Phoenix. What Ridley Scott did. His direction of that was insane. Those Coliseum scenes are one of the most incredible scenes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to Stephen Storff, sort of big, but the best part of Gladiator is, do you know what that film looks like? Even from the freaking intro, like the battle at that intro with the music coming in, and just the scenes at the Coliseum, outside of the Coliseum, I'm, I'm like, do you? Because... Before Gladiator, nobody had ever done a Roman era film on that scale. And I remember when they even showed the poster, and I was like, whoa, damn, no one has ever done this since Ben Hur of like an, a Roman era film on this epic scale. And then to watch it, I was like, God, this is ridiculous what really Scott achieved. Like, he really took it to the next level. So, like, look, um, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? So no way you're here. <laughs> Father of a murdered son, husband of a murdered wife. I will get my vengeance in his life or the next. It's like guys, so whenever I so let's say I do like a really great feat. So let's say like, you know, I, I throw like a knife up, spin it, and then I basically catch it on its handle. I always say, are you not entertained? So every time I do like a great feat or something, I always say, are you not entertained? So it is a line that is literally within my everyday life. That is how iconic this film is. And that's how iconic some of these lines are. In this need, it did not need a sequel. It's the way it's ended. Beautiful. Beautiful. You don't need a sequel. You need nothing more. It's all done. It's finito. So if says, so, oh, no one's doing a sequel, I'm like, why? No, it's like, okay, it's like you don't need a sequel for Shawshank Redemption. You don't need a sequel for the usual suspects. <laughs> there are just some films where when it ends, yeah, it's ended, it's done, it is all wrapped up. Finito. However, Ridley Scott is one of the most influential directors of all time. You know? Um, so, if you've made a sci-fi film, anybody who's made a sci-fi film, you were influenced by Ridley Scott. If you made a sci-fi film after like 1982, 83, whatever, later on that came out, 
you were influenced. Like Blade Runner is the most influential science fiction film of all time. That's not my opinion, not my viewpoints. Blade Runner is the most influential science fiction film of all time. Any director right now who is about to make a science fiction film, you have to watch Blade Runner. If you don't, you're a moron. <laughs> you're a, you're a, you know, um, you're a moron. Sorry, you are a complete moron. So his filmography is outstanding. Alien, American Gangster, Blade Runner, Black Hawk Down. Obviously, mentioned Gladiator. Amazing. The Martian, which is a damn good film. But beyond that. Guys, here's the thing. Even if it's not called Gladiator 2, if I'm hearing Denzel and Rudy Scott are in a film, I don't need to see a trailer. <laughs> if you told me Ridley Scott is directing a film, Denzel Washington is starring, tickets bought already. Ridley Scott's films have been more missed than hits. They've not been great. Napoleon was a brick. <laughs> but that's the whole point of movies. Like... um. Not every movie is going to be that dude. So Ridley Scott and Denzel, I mean, bro, I went to the freaking cinema to watch Deja Vu. <laughs> that is how much I, I support Denzel. So with both of these guys in here, I'm in, bro. Um, because the thing here is this. Again, we did not need a sequel. So... The way I approach this is this is not gonna this will not be as good as the first film. Forget about being better than the first film. It won't be as I've already seen enough to know, oh no, it's not gonna be now. So the way I'm approaching this is I'm just here to have fun. I'm not gonna compare this to the first film and be like, oh no. The first film is what it is. It is in a cinematic hall of fame. So it's in a cinematic hall of fame, and it will always forever be a classic and a masterpiece. This is just it's another film. <laughs> so, and, so the best way to watch this is on a clean slate. And for those guys who say, okay, Denzel, why does he have the accents and all that, blah, blah. Do you think Denzel really Scott gives a crap? Because what I say to people is, you have issues with his accent. Two things for you. First thing is, there's a film that has CGI monkeys with fangs. You're worried about someone's accent. That's the first thing. Second thing is, you're talking accents. They should be speaking Latin. And this is ancient rule. I learned Latin in school. <laughs> you know, witty, witty, winky. They should be speaking Latin, not English. So people should have... So the very fact that people are speaking with an English accent, it's, 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 it's already gone. So if you want to be authentic, speak Latin. <laughs> so if people ain't speaking Latin and they're speaking English with an English accent, a language that they did not speak back in those days because they spoke Latin back in those days, then, bro, anybody can have whatever accent they freaking want. And beyond that, guys, it's Denzel Washington. <laughs> it's Denzel freaking Washington. He can have whatever accent he wants because I'm here to see a guy just acts. And from what he's doing, I'm like, yo, the Zell? Forget about the... Uh, uh, I don't know who, who Denzel is. I don't know who that is. The Zell. The Zell can do whatever they want because I'm watching I'm watching the Zell cook. I want the Zell to come in and cook. And Zell is here, here, here to cook with your, your, your boy Scott. Your boy R. Scott and your boy Zell. So leave the Zellage alone. Let him because guys, look, 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 look at this image. Look at this image. Like that image just shows that the Zell is just here to have fun. And I think really Scott and the Zell, they're at an age now where they don't give an F what you guys think because they're already set certified. Ridley Scott doesn't need to win an Oscar because Kubrick never won an Oscar. Peter O'Toole never won an Oscar. David Fincher still now does not have an Oscar. But we all know that Ridley Scott is one of the greatest act, act, um, directors of all time. The Zell, forget the Oscars. We already know that he's one of the greatest actors of all time. The fact that he did win an Oscar for The Hurricane shows that those awards, they, they don't mean jack. So for Gladiator 2, I'm just here to have fun. I'm just here to have fun. But one last thing, I'm just going back to Gladiator, man. Because I want to watch it again. Because I know because it's on Prime Video now, so I just want to watch it again. Um, I'll be real with you guys. Um, do you know how good Wacken Phoenix was in this film? 
this is because you know what I say it's like you know let's say you're tabling the great aspects. The way I rank it is rediscover direction, work in Phoenix's performance, Hans Zimmer's music, and Russell Crowe's iconic performance as well. Now, people say, "Oh, why?" You, no, Russell Crowe was just me. Russell Crowe was amazing. Russell Crowe was amazing. That music was iconic. It is the most iconic movie soundtrack of all time. Ridley, what Ridley Scott did was stupid. <laughs> like, the visuals on that are one of the most shocking visuals we've ever seen. So that is number one. Working. Because what's made Gladiator work, whenever you have, like, a story, like the classic uh, good versus evil, you need... Um, this, is a, this is a key thing you need. You need the great protagonist and a great antagonist. Because it's, you, it does not matter how good the protagonist is, a story only works if both the protagonist and the antagonist is great. Because the hero and villain, they are symbiotic for a story. So, so Crow was an amazing lead. And he carried the film and he was an amazing anchor. But the realness of that film was you hated Joaquin Phoenix's character. You really hated him on a deep level. And when you just saw what he did to his father, how he screwed over Maximus, like, as the viewer, you were like, I can't wait to get this dude, man. So, but what he did and just how he just honed into the soul of that character was amazing. Because because I put up, like, a thing on Instagram um, and it was an interview with Stephen Baldwin, actor, where he said that DiCaprio is not a very good, good actor. And guys were like, oh, I said, no, DiCaprio is not a, a, a very, very good actor. DiCaprio in the same role, it ain't the same. It ain't the same. Because what Joaquin Phoenix did, and which is what makes him such a great actor, is he takes you to such a level emotionally, deeply, that really brought out that kind of true villainous soul of this character. So again, when you watch this film again, again, enjoy it, but just look at what Joaquin Phoenix does. What he does with his eyes, how he, the, how he says the lines. For me, it is one of the great acting performances of all time. It is one of the great acting performances of all time. So for you, man, ladies are two. I'm ready, man. Let's see. I am not comparing it to one. It will never be as good as the original. Never. It will, ne will ne it will never touch the original. It will never. So I'm watching this just in a vacuum by itself to see what it offers.